Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I've got a showcase and also a tutorial of one of the most awesome editor extensions I've ever seen for Unity, and it's a nice little radial menu like you would see in Blender or things like Maya to be able to do shortcuts, and you can specify anything on these shortcuts, give them custom names, icons, and I will show you how to set it up today. And this is from a developer called Alex Amai, and he's a graphics programmer who does some awesome shader work and things all to do with Unity, which can extend and make your life so much easier. So be sure to check him out on Twitter. And you can check out his short introductory blog post on how to set this up and how he's actually made it work. So going from Alex's blog, it uses the new vector API from Unity, which is available in Unity 22.2. Now, this functionality can work in previous versions of Unity, but you won't have that center icon which moves around with the selection, which is not the end of the world. It's just more of a visual cue. So I'll show you how to use it in 2020.1 and below, but we'll look at the perfect implementation in 2020.2 or above. You want to navigate to Alex's GitHub page, and from there, it'll be the circular menu. And on this page, you will have the scripts. So start by navigating at the top and downloading the zipped folder that you will need. Once you've downloaded your zip folder, you can go into Unity and make sure that you've got an editor folder. Then you want to import or you can drag in all the scripts that you want to use. So it'll be the circular menu, the circular menu attribute, and the circular menu button. You can take a little look at the script yourself if you're that way interested to see some of the functionality that it displays. So to add your own specific tools or shortcuts, are we going to right click and create a new C sharp script? And I'm just going to call this circular menu tools in my case. And then I'm going to drag that into the editor folder. I'm going to open up in Visual Studio. And Alex does have an example of how to add the method attribute to this system on the website. I'm just going to add the using am I editor tools dot circular menu using system system dot collections system got collections dot generic and unity engine. Then from there, we need to write a square brackets and say that the circular menu and then open up normal brackets and say that the path is then equal to whatever you want to call your tools. You can have multiple menus. So in this case, I'm going to have a menu called tools. And my first one is going to be called the move tool. Then I'm going to have a comma and then we're going to specify an icon. And this needs to be a specific icon in Unity. So we'll leave quotes there and end that bracket. And we need to actually find the icon we need. And Alex did point me to a really great set of GitHub pages, which I will link down in the description, which show you all the icons which are used in default by Unity. So you can search these if that you want to find more items. So in my case, it was the move tool. So if I search and I'm just going to search move, and then I'm going to search along until I actually find the one that I want. So this will be the move tool on. So we'll copy that name here. We'll go back to our script and I'll paste that name into the quotes that we've got in the center. Then below here, I'm going to write a public static void. Then we could possibly call this our show move tool. Then in there, I'm going to use something that's part of the Unity editor which allows me to access the functionality. And you can put anything else in here if you want to do shortcuts to functionality or common controls that you use. So at the top, I'm going to use using Unity Editor. And now I can specify what tools I want to use. So I'll say tools.current equals tool.move. So this is going to switch to my move tool when I select this button. Now, what we can do is we can select this entire section and I'm going to paste it in a couple more times. In my tools menu, I'm going to have the rotate tool and I can go back to that page again and find the rotate tool is the rotate tool on. I'm going to change the method to show rotate tool and then my tool is going to be tools.rotate. My last one is going to be tools forward slash scale tool and the icon is going to be D underscore scale tool on. Again, we can change the method and then a tool Dot scale. We can save that out now, go back into Unity. We need to let Unity recompile that script. And now if I open up my scene again, and let's say I grab one of my objects here. In this case, I'm going to hold A and I've got the menu and the scrolly little wheel. And now I've got the tools which I can left click and then I can move my tool along to anything that I have. So in this case, I want the rotate tool. And in the other case, I want the move tool. And then in any case, I want the scale tool. 
So you can add anything you want to these actions and it'll work in any place on the screen, just offset from your mouse, just so that there's always a space for it to be able to be seen. You can edit this code, use it the way you want. The implementation might not be perfect, but it's a great way to get you started. And I would love this tool to be fully functional in Unity. So I'm in Unity 2021 at this point, and you can see that I've got a very similar radio menu, but I don't have the little center icon anymore, which is not necessarily an issue. And this is just outputting to the console every time I choose to do something. So the only customization that you need to do to make this in Unity 2021, so then open up that circular menu script in your text editor, and you want to make a search for draw mouse angle indicator. And you want to make sure that you comment these lines out here, these two at the top, which is around line 117, 118, depending on how your script looks, because this uses that newer API that isn't available in this version of Unity. And then also comment out this entire method, which is called the draw mouse angle indicator. And you can do the script in exactly the same ways with the circular tools menu, whereas you can set a menu, the sub menu, any of the icons that you want from those lists and anything you want those actions to do. And in any case, you can do those sets of actions. So I hope you do find this useful because I think it's an incredible asset and you should check it out today. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 190 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in Unity and Game Dev. Check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive savings. And a massive thank you to Peter Steiner and Christian Van Ziel for their awesome support, along with and all of my other amazing patrons and everybody who comes to watch the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.